Howdy, friends. Welcome back to Call of War as Gunslinger. Uh, let's get a move on. We just killed old man Clanton, and uh, now we're moving ahead in the story. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. This is seven I had tracked him and the Cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. What exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. <laughs> First, I, I need to tell you joke. about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. Oh, so they think I'm Wyatt Herb, or one of the Herbs, anyway. Kill it! Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Oh, different Earps. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. Oh yeah, Wyatt Earp. So when I showed Doc up, Holiday. that's who they thought I was. So I never actually played the, the other Call of War games. But I know this is, as far as I understand, this is the uh, first one in the series, and actually the last one in the series too. But uh, that sort of had a, not a his yeah, kind of a historical slant to it, you know, kind of telling a little bit of a uh, piece of the history while you're playing the game too, which is kind of cool. Because the third one, which I think was not well received, is the one that was set in a more modern Western setting. And uh, then before that, I think it was sort of like this, same same time frame as this. Reach the sawmill, okay. And did I get somewhere nearby? The there are pillars shoot. around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what drove me forward. Hit it right in the air. They did. say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Earp wasn't much of a match for him. But Doc Holliday might have taken it. That Lunger should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Well, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. I don't know why those planks are colored a different color. It's like you could shoot them or interact with them, but... Hold on, any poop? Is there poop in this game? I see dirt, no poop. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, 
Why didn't his son take over the cowboys? Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Get to the lumber yard and find Curly Bill. All right. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire cowboy gang single-handed. <laughs> Indeed I was, Jack. What, Jack? You don't believe me? Hey, got for you. Totally looks like you can interact with it. What do I know? It wasn't easy as those boys had good cover. What? Come on. What happened to everything? Pistol, pistol, pistol. Okay, that's fine. Got it. Curly Bill Brocious. we get uh yeah yep yeah. Kind of cool. a little bit of extra focus oh, looked like an explosive there for a second okay knows what else for people to hide behind. Oh, that really kill. was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. Scoping out some rifle ammo just to see. Oh, please. Yes. Thank you. Oh man, this is going to be a big gunfight area. And where was Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful off. waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly... Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, <laughs> finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. 
Oh, okay. Takes a shot before he takes a shot. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringle nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me on the open. Time to dance with the devil! You working for Wyatt Earp? Did that some bitch Earp send you to kill me? Should have taken it just to see. Just gave me no choice but to take his life. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. It took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. It's interesting a time where you, it would take months to find someone because you just you had horse, maybe a train. Johnny Ringo. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Oh! I'm stupid, right when he reached for it. For some reason I was like waiting for him to get his gun out. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. 
<laughs> that one's kind of interesting because you don't have like a story lead up to finding Johnny Ringo. You just, here he is. I mean, it, it is being told the story, but all right. Next, one of four. 50 enemies killed. Man, I have a lot worse accuracy than that. I think it's because I was using the pistol a lot more. What do we got next? I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. The Innocents. So wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. Yeah, I just love these settings. One of my uh, favorite movies of all time is actually 310 to Yuma. It's, uh, it's a great one. If you haven't seen it, give it a watch. It's, it's pretty good. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm just going to say give it a watch. Before the Intercontinental Railway really was completed, stagecoach. Yeah, okay, so stagecoach, not train yet. The ride from Missouri to California took three weeks. The Magnificent One, Chapter Three. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant, and hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits, and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape, and that's where I thought I'd find him. It makes me nervous standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. Why would you be nervous? No one has the components <laughs> to come after us. As long as you don't light up a cigar, we're fine. Yeah, uh, besides, George, <laughs> As my late father pointed out don't to let me him more shut up. God made men. Oh. Samuel Colt made him equal. Jeez. I probably should have let those guys finish yapping to see what they say. It's pretty funny. No one's gonna have the cojones to shoot it. Sorry, boys. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves and killers, robbing travelers, and hijacking gold shipments. Like those that oh. ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Ranger now, we'll keep our hand laid. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. Those arrests were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Bummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. Oh, if boy. Daddy had lived to see Alfred Nobel's explosive invention, my guess is he would have told Samuel Colt to kiss his ass. <laughs> oh, dangerous, desperate individuals. I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. They must have thought I was tough. Or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. 
I think touch meant something else, like you were dumb back in the day. I thought I was some kind of hero. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. Oh, how is this not something? Oh, thought I was sneaky there. But chain stuff. Nope. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. All right. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. <laughs> made sense. <laughs> that just formed. It was the quickest way in. But that also made it more dangerous. Yeah, I might go there would away. undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. See, why is that colored differently? Can I fall? Is that too far? That's yeah, way too far, I guess. I don't think you'd really die from that, but okay. Oh, you just had to go this way? No. I feel like there's other options. Do you know who we are? Like, what if I choose to go this way? Can I just fall right here? Do I die immediately? I do. Okay. For science. All right, we'll go the way it's safe. I've got this. This is our goal now. Shoddy. I do not deserve to die like this. Okay, is he like right in front of my Besides, face? Besides, no? once you enter a mine oh. like that, it's easy to get all turned around. Really me <laughs> and that confusing <laughs> maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. It's you or me. Yeah, no, I hear you. Let's do this. You ain't beefing me. Don't worry about nuggets another time. Is often made up for the lack of common sense. Oh. Luckily, I was never oh. one to be easily bushware. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. Take it. With all that gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what he's shooting at. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dead blasted tomb. Uh oh. He curved the bullet. He curved the bullet. And I freely admit that my plan of attack was not just moronic, oh, but right. clearly in sight. Where did we even jump? Oh, okay. It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny. Instead, I spotted a ladder. <laughs> way into the mine from the opposite side. Okay, that makes sense. That's funny. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. <laughs> of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. 
Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. I was determined not to give up, however. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to help me find old Bob. 10,000? That would be and so I much made freaking it money back then. to settle that score from hell or high water. But first, I would have to make a choice. Way. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. Are you gonna make the choice for me again? Take the elevator. Climb the ladder. We're gonna climb the ladder. Elevator goes up. I wanted to use the element of surprise. Plus, I figured I could use the exercise. <laughs> I was warmed up already, so what the hell? Oh, see, they would have been for us. Plummer was a mad dog killer. And the people of Nevada City deserve better. Whoa! Okay. Is he up here? The longer you take dispensions, it don't dawdle. Okay. So maybe you get paid more if you kill him? Oh, that's what you got me. I see. Well, he was a sheriff of both places one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives. Including my own. Looking for baddies, looking for baddies. Am I supposed to? Oh, thank you. Oh, okay, all right. Lawman. Outlaw. Scalawag. Nice. Oh man, I hope he's not just chucking explosives at us the whole time. They're gonna need a well, dust pan up here. This you day are. is just getting worse and worse shot. for you, ain't it? Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was gonna take some doing. Oh. Who said you could throw dynamite? Bastard! I can do food! Oh. Oh. I need some help here! <laughs> Come on, boys! The boys. Take I this cocksucker out! Plumber's back. Right. It'll blow you into next week, boy. No! <laughs> no blood money for you today. Oh, nice. Over there. All right, let's switch to this. Lucky shot. I'm going all medieval on your ass. <laughs> medieval. Run! Back, you morons! What do you think you're doing? 
He looks a lot older than he sounds. Totally just farm XP here. I can shoot too! They're gonna need a dustpan to pick you up! I will drop you down a shot, Chad! Money for you today. Oh, there's going to be blood money, all right. I'm going to get paid today. No, that's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And we're loaded and now. now. I was officially a bounty hunter. None of them. Did we level up? Yes, we did. Cool. Nope, not here. Down here. What does this do? Unknown inventor. So 25, less recoil, better aim speed, plus two ammo. Yeah, I want that, so let's go. Fastest gun. Cool. Yep. Sweet. Where does it put us? More story? So, did you yeah. finally go after that Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Hardin. So that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Hardin as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. John Wesley Hart. Hell, he killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody, not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. I love the comic style art. All right, that's going to be it for this part, this episode, I should say. Thank you for joining me, friends. I hope you have a great day. Uh, comment, subscribe, you know, if you want to get any uh, future updates on uh, when a new episode comes out. But if not, like I always say, well, I don't always say. I've said it one time, but your viewership is appreciated, as always. Thank you, friends. Talk to you soon.